السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو مائی ویڈیو سیریز آن سرچنگ الگورتھمس ان آرٹیفیشل انٹیلیجنس ان دس ویڈیو وی ول ایکسپلور ہاؤ جینیٹک الگورتھمس ورک تھرو ٹو پریکٹیکل ایگزامپلس فرسٹ بائی میکسیمائزنگ ایمتھمیٹیکل فنکشن اینڈ سیکنڈ بائی سالونگ اے کلاسک این کوئنس پرابلم سو لیٹ اسٹارٹ ود اے فرسٹ پرابلم ان دس ایگزامپل وی ہیو ٹو میکسیمائز اے فنکشن ایف آف ایکس اکویس ٹو ایکس اسکوائر ویر دا ویریبل ایکس رینجز فرام زیرو to 31 here is the randomly generated initial population since 31 is 5 bits in binary each individual in the population can be represented as 5 bit binary string then we have calculated the fitness of each individual by applying the function f of x equals to x square so square of 13 is 169 square of 24 is 576 and so on Now let's calculate the selection probability for each individual. This is done by dividing each fitness value f of x by total fitness of the population. Total fitness is the sum of all fitness values that is 1170 in this case. So selection probabilities become 0.144, 0.49, 0.055 and 0.3. Now let's calculate the expected count. which estimates how many times each individual should appear in the next generation there are two equivalent methods method 1 calculates the expected count by dividing the fitness of each individual method 2 calculates method 2 calculates the expected count by multiplying the probability of selection for each individual to the population size which is 4 in this case now we calculate the actual count to simulate the roulette wheel selection from the expected count by just rounding off the values individual 1 is selected one time individual 2 is selected two times individual 3 is selected zero times and individual 4 is selected one time this gives us our new population which will go through crossover and mutation in the next step of genetic algorithm now we will apply crossover to the selected parents A random crossover point will be chosen for each pair of selected parents. Let's say these are the crossover points. After applying crossover, we will get four new offsprings. Now we will apply mutation to the newly mated population. We have set the mutation rate to 10%. There are four individuals in this population. Each is represented by five genes. So total genes are 20. To calculate the mutated genes, we need to multiply the mutation rate with the number of genes. So the mutation rate is 10%, which is 0.1, and total genes are 20. So the total mutated genes are 2. So in this whole population, two genes will be mutated. Let's say these two genes are randomly selected for mutation. We will use bit flip mutation. Zero will becomes one, and one will become zero. Now we will convert the mutated population back to the decimal numbers and apply the fitness function. This table compares the initial population and the population after one iteration of crossover and mutation. The highest fitness in the initial population was 576, but in the new population the highest fitness is 729. Other individuals also have better fitness than the previous generation. This way genetic algorithms after multiple iterations evolve better offspring and fitter individuals gradually converging towards an optimal solution Now we come to the second example in which we will apply genetic algorithms to solve the n coins problem by maximizing a fitness function that evaluates number of non attacking queen pairs on an 8 by 8 chessboard So here is our initial population We represent each individual as a list of eight numbers. Each number in the chromosome represents the row position of a coin in the corresponding column of that chessboard. For example, if we see the first individual, the first gene is three. That means the coin is placed in first column and third row, counted from bottom to top. Now we will find the fitness of each individual in this population. by calculating the number of non attacking pairs if you don't know how to do this we discussed this in the previous video so number of non attacking pairs for the first individual is 
second is 24, third is 11 and the last is 20. Now instead of proportionate selection method, we will be using rank selection method in this example. We will rank each individual based on their fitness starting from 1 till 4. So the individual with least fitness gets the rank 1, individual with the best fitness gets the rank 4. The summation of all ranks is equal to 10. Now we will calculate the selection probability based on the ranks not based on the fitness value. The formula would be rank divided by the summation of rank. So the 3 divided by 10 is 0.3 and the same for the remaining ones. Now we calculate the expected count by multiplying the selection probability with the total number of population. After rounding them off, we will get these values. Individual 1 will be selected one time. Individual 2 will be selected two times. Individual 3 will not be selected. And individual 4 will be selected one time. Now the selected individuals will go through crossover and mutation. The mutation rate is 10% which means three genes in this population will be mutated. We are using random bit change mutation, which means the selected bit will be replaced with any value between 1 and 8. So 1 is replaced with 3, 4 is replaced with 5, and 5 is replaced with 7. Let's compare the fitness of the initial population and the new population. The highest fitness remains the same. However, the fitness of the other individual in the new population has increased. That's all for today. And now we have completed the local search algorithm techniques. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.